Fabrics. Paul here with another little 3D printed gadget for my Nissan Leaf. Now this is a ex-Japanese Nissan Leaf imported into New Zealand and one of the quirks of the Japanese Leafs is that down under the steering wheel there is this thing here which is the electronic toll collection system. Uh, so in Japan, you slot a card in there and it will deduct money off you as you go through um, different toll roads. In New Zealand, this is completely useless because we don't have that toll system at all. So this thing here is odd and useless. It's plugged into the 12 volt battery, so it's draining the 12 volt ever so slightly and it takes up weight in space and it's it's kind of odd that you've got this weird thing sitting in there. So I've come up with some solutions to replacing this. And it's a very trivial annoyance, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, the, they range from this thing here, that just slaps over, and you've got a blank plate <coughs> that is beautifully flush, and um, nobody will ever know. So that is option A. You can print that and um, the problem is, the annoyance is gone. And as you can see it's very flush. Uh, so there's that. And just to complicate matters, some people have a slightly different model. So I've made a different fascia for that one. Uh, this one is going to stick out a wee bit, but um, it will hide this weird bit of electronics from you, so you never have to think about it ever, ever again. So those are the simplest options. So the next options are to pull this out and replace it with a blank faceplate, or a tray or a um, bracket that will hold your OBD2 dongle. So if you're someone who likes to use Leaf Spy, normally you plug it in under here and it's really hard to see what the dongle is doing, whereas if you have it here, it's much easier to see and you can plug it out if you don't want it in, um, it's much nicer. And this version here is for a Lelink OBD2 dongle, and then this one here is for the Deep Conway model, so it lives in there quite happily. Um, but in order to do that you need to remove all this, um, you pull this uh, fascia off, and in order to do that you need to unbolt these bolts here, remove those, and also uh, pull off this bottom panel down here. In order to do all that, you need a 10 mil socket for these here, and then hidden behind here is a Torx T15 bolt, and in under here, there are two plastic rivets that require a Phillips screwdriver. And then once you've done all that, this is held in with two Phillips screws, so you need that again. And then you'll need a plastic lever um, for pulling this off the, the clips. So in under here is one of those. Don't lose that. Right, then you just yank that down and you can just leave that flapping around. Then, because you just need that loose in order to get this off. Next comes this, and I've already loosened these bolts. Right a lot. Uh, 
Uh, so this is slid on, so you slide it back and then down. Then there's the T15. It goes there. Then we go back to here. Now some people recommend um, pulling this off, but I just go straight. I just go straight into here. And there's a clip right there, and then there's another one down here. And that pulls that clip there off, which is good. And then over here, there's another one here. And this is, in my car, is a bit harder to get into. That slot. So there's a clip right there, and there's another clip there. And then you yank that down, there was a clip there. There's another clip here, and you could, if you wanted to, uh, pull this face here up. There's clips here and here and on the other side. Pull that up to loosen this, but uh, when it comes time to replacing this, it's more f fiddly if you pull it all off. If you just leave it uh, semi-attached, turns out that's slightly easier to deal with. Okay, so in behind here, there is down here, that's the ECT, the Electronic Toll Control Connection System. Uh, now, it turns out I've already unplugged the connectors um, because I've been in here before. But there are these screws here. One there, and one there. Right, and then that just slots out like that, and that is 185 grams worth of useless electronics. So you get rid of that, and then at this point here, you can either put in the blank faceplate, goes in there and screws down, and then on the front, you then have a blank that doesn't offend anyone. So that's one option. The other option is the bracket for the Lelink OBD2 port or the uh, the Conway 902 OBD2 um, dongle. And goes in this way up, and the slot at the back will take the OBD2 port from here, and it will clip into, into there quite nicely. Screw that in. So that's nice and secure, looks like that. Then we need to remove this, and that is held in place. So there's a, a clip on this side that you push in and then up, 
And then there's a similar one on this side. Push it up and in. And that disconnects that. Then if we come back around here, there's the OVD2 port. Now, before you plug it in, clip it back in, it's worth checking which way up things go. It matters for the Conway because the Conway is upside down. The connector is upside down, uh, whereas the Lee Link uh, actually doesn't matter. But uh, just for completeness, um, make sure that it goes up the right way. Um, and I've made this cutout so that you can clip it in either way up. So that goes in like that and it clips in quite nicely. And then it's simply a matter of putting everything back in place. So that goes like that, like that. And over here, make sure that's good and that's good. Screw that back in. Locks in and then screws in. back in place. There's two clips and then there's the, the rivets. And that one goes there. Like that. All right, done. Then That plugs in there. And in and running, it's talking to Leaf Spy quite happily. Uh, the nice thing about this is it's out of the way, but it's also easily accessible. Whereas the, the original port for the OBD2 is pretty hard to get to. This is nice and easy to access. Um, so there you have it, uh, I'll put the 3D designs for the standard face plate, the slightly weird face plate, the uh, blank, the Le link bracket, and the um, Conway Le, um, OVD2 dongle bracket. I'll put those up on my minifactory.com, which is where I've got all my um, Nissan Leaf objects. And uh, so you can download them. I'll also be printing these and selling them in New Zealand on TradeMe, because uh, I think they're quite nice. Um, so there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.